AI programs like ChatGPT and MidJourney have opened the door to making creating digital products a reality for more people. If you've ever thought about opening an Etsy shop, but you were worried that you weren't creative enough or didn't have enough ideas, then your time is now. In this video, I told you about these five digital products that you can create using ChatGPT and MidJourney. And now we're going to dive deeper into how to create digital stickers. I didn't want to leave you with just an overview video without actually showing you how to make these digital products and open your Etsy shop so you can start selling. In this video, I'm going to walk you step by step through how to create digital stickers. And stay until the very end because I'm going to show you a bonus trick that your buyers are going to love. Now that's enough of me talking, let's get into the tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to use ChatGPT and MidJourney. We're going to use ChatGPT to give us ideas and to create our MidJourney prompts. And then we're going to go to MidJourney and create our stickers. To get started, you're going to need a ChatGPT account. And you can get a ChatGPT account by going to openai.com. Once you get to OpenAI, you'll see a link here that says try ChatGPT. And we're going to click there. At this point, you'll be asked to log in to your ChatGPT account or sign up. And if you've never been here, then you need to go ahead and sign up. So we're going to click on sign up. And then what you're going to do is walk through the process of creating your account. Once you're logged into ChatGPT, you should see a window similar to this one. Now yours may not say ChatGPT Plus. Mine says this because I'm on a paid version of ChatGPT, but the free version will work perfectly fine for this tutorial. Now we're going to train ChatGPT to give us mid-journey prompts. And we're going to do this by giving ChatGPT a formula. So I'm going to pop over to a Google Docs where I can copy my formula. And I'm going to give you guys this formula in the description so you can copy and paste it and use it while you're walking through the tutorial with me. So here's the formula that we're going to use to train ChatGPT to give us our prompts. And it starts off by basically saying, here's a mid-journey prompt formula. And then we're going to give it different parameters. So we want it to give us the image we're prompting. We want it to always include the word sticker because that's what we're creating. We want it to give us words for the mood of the sticker, the style of color for the sticker, the art style of the sticker, and then the level of detail. And then we're going to tell it that we want each prompt to end with vector, contour, and white background. And these are just words that will help Midjourney create sticker type images for us. And then we're going to tell it don't reference any of the original formula in the resulting prompts. And that just means we want to clear out any parentheses in our results so we can just copy and paste our prompts over into Midjourney. And we're going to ask ChatGPT to respond with yes if it understands the formula. So let's go ahead and copy this formula and paste it into ChatGPT. We're back at ChatGPT and I'm just gonna paste in the formula that we just copied. So you can see it here. Here is a mid-journey prompt formula and we have all of the information that we just saw in our Google Doc. We're going to hit enter and ChatGPT responds with yes, I understand the formula. So now we're gonna give it a try. And I figured we would work with something that everyone loves. We're going to do puppies. So I'm going to say, give me five mid-journey prompts of puppies. So give me five mid-journey prompts of puppies. And I'm going to press enter. Now we have our results and we can see that ChatGPT did understand our formula. So let's look at the first one. We have a fluffy golden retriever puppy with a tongue out expression. We want it to have pastel colors. It's in a cartoonish style with the medium level of detail. And then we have our vector, contour, and white background. And let's look at the second one. An energetic black and white border collie puppy with a playful mood bright colored in a realistic style with high level of details and then we have our vector contour white background and we have more of the same here now we have our prompts the next thing we need to do is go into mid journey and create our sticker images 
Our next step is to sign up for Midjourney. But before signing up for Midjourney, we have to start off with Discord. And Discord is just a free communications app. It lets you share voice, video, and text chat with friends, and is mainly used for the gaming community and developers. You can get to Discord by going to discord.com, and once there, you can decide to download or open it in your browser. If you hit open your browser, then you can enter your desired username and go through the process of registering for a Discord account. Once you have Discord, then it's time to sign up for Midjourney. And to sign up for Midjourney, you just go to midjourney.com and here is the homepage of that website. Once you're on the Midjourney site and you've already signed in to your Discord account, you're just gonna click on join the beta. And once you click this link, you'll be taken into Discord and you'll have the ability to use Midjourney. Once you're in Discord, you're gonna look for the Midjourney icon, which is this image of a boat, and you're gonna click on it. And you'll be taken here into the Midjourney public area. The next thing you're gonna do, and don't be alarmed, it's gonna look a little busy. You're gonna find one of the newbie rooms and we're gonna click on it. And what you'll have here is a public space where a lot of people are creating images with Midjourney. And you can see all of the images that they are creating and all the prompts that they're using to create those images. Now, what you want to do is try to find a room that's not very busy, but a lot of times the rooms are really busy. And I'm going to show you what I do so I'm not dealing with all of the busyness in the room. What I do to stay out of this hustle and bustle is do direct messages with the Mid Journey bot. And to do that, find the text that says Mid Journey bot and then right click. And then all you have to do is select message. And you'll be taken into a direct message where you can chat back and forth with the Mid Journey bot. Oh, that's what I call it, chatting. And here you can do your prompting and you're in a room by yourself. So here's my area and you can see all of the different images that I've created inside of this direct messaging area with the Mid Journey bot. To use Mid Journey, all you're doing is giving it prompts. And to create an image, your prompt is gonna start with slash imagine. And if you hit the slash and just start typing, then you'll see the prompt come up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on the slash imagine prompt here. And once I'm there, you can see down at the bottom of the screen, it says slash imagine prompt, and then there's my cursor. Now this is the area where we're just gonna ask Mid Journey to draw whatever we wanted to draw. Now we've created our prompts, but I'm just gonna do something basic. I'm just gonna say draw a puppy and I'm gonna hit enter. And Mid Journey is just gonna start drawing our puppy. Now it might take some time, but let's see what it gives us. And here are our results. And you can see with just a basic prompt of draw us a puppy, we get these four different versions of puppy drawings. And they're all pretty cute. But we wanna create drawings specifically for stickers. So that's why we have created our prompts inside of ChatGPT to give us drawings that will be tailor-made for stickers. Now, one thing we're gonna do before we go in and copy in our prompts is we're gonna check your settings and we're just gonna go to slash settings and it pops up here and we're gonna click on that. What we wanna do with our settings is just make sure that we are on Mid Journey version five. And depending on when you watch this video, it could be a newer version of Mid Journey. I just wanted you to know that for what I'm doing in this video, I am on version five. Okay, now that we've got that squared away, let's copy in some of our prompts that we've created in ChatGPT. So I've gone and copied the first prompt and I'm gonna type in slash imagine. I got my cursor here and then I'm just gonna paste in the prompt. So my prompt says a fluffy golden retriever puppy with a tongue out expression, pastel colored, and a cartoonish style with medium level of detail, vector, contour, white background. And I'm just gonna press enter. 
and we're going to let mid journey create this image. And see here, we have a super happy puppy and all of these would make amazing stickers. And it's given us the images in the art style and using the color palette that we requested. Now inside of mid journey, the images are numbered and you have image one, two, three, and four. And then you'll see these values down here. You've got U1, U2, U3, U4, and then V1 through four. The U's are for you to upgrade the images to a version that you can use for your stickers. And then the V's are if you wanna get another variation of that same image. So let's say we like this puppy right here, but we wanna see some different variations of it. We can just click on V1 and Mid Journey will give us a prompt to remix that image and give us different versions. And see, same puppy with different stylings on it. Everything's just slightly different, but you can see you use that image one as a, an example to create our different versions. And let's say if we wanted this version one and we liked it, we didn't need, we didn't need it to make any changes we would just hit U1. And then here we go. We have our image of that first puppy. Now, if we like this puppy and we wanna move this puppy into our next step to create a sticker from it, we just go ahead and right click on the image and then save image as. And you can just save this to your laptop. And I'm just gonna hit save because it's already going into my downloads area. And then we have the finished image of our puppy. Our next step is to edit our sticker and put it in a usable file format. And I'm gonna do this using Canva. Now I am using the paid version of Canva because I wanna use its background removal features. If you do not have the paid version of Canva, you can use Adobe Express. They have a free background remover tool and you can get to it by going to adobe.com slash express. And I'll leave that link in the description as well. But we're going to pop back over to Canva and I'm going to walk through how I would edit that image using Canva. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a design. And for this one, it's just going to be one sticker. So I'm going to do a custom size, but I'm just going to go 500 by 500 pixels. Just as an example. I've already uploaded the graphic that we downloaded from Mid Journey into Canva. And I did that in the upload section. And all I did was hit upload and then navigate it to that image on my computer and then it uploaded and you can see here is our cute little puppy here. So what I'm going to do is drag our puppy onto the canvas and I'm just going to make him big right now because we're just going to do him as one sticker for this portion of the video. And I'm just going to grab one of the circles on the edges of the boxes. I always drag from a corner because I don't want it to mess up my aspect ratio. So I'm gonna drag from, the, from a corner and I'm just gonna make him bigger to fill this space. And that's good enough. And you can see once I get him centered, I get the crosshairs. So he's centered in the middle of my canvas. Now what I wanna do is remove the white background. And we know that there's a white background behind him because if you look over here, he has a white background and that's what we asked Mid Journey to give us, a sticker on a white background. But we want to remove that white background. So I'm going to click on my puppy image. I'm going to go edit photo and then I'm going to use the background remover. And you can see how the background remover is a pro feature in Canva. So I'm going to click on that and then Canva is going to work as magic and remove the background. So now my puppy has a transparent background. So when I export him as a PNG file, he will not have a white background behind him. And my buyer can use him inside of their journal or wherever they'd like to use him without a background behind him. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export him out of Canva and I'm just going to hit the share button. And then I am going to hit the download button and what I want to make sure I do here is hit transparent background and again we have that crown feature that lets us know that the only way I can use this transparent background feature is if I have Canva Pro so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and hit download 
and he's going to download in PNG format. And now you can see I have my cute puppy and he does not have a white background behind him. He has a transparent background, so it's showing up black and he's now ready to be used inside of any type of digital journal or any way my buyer wants to use him. Here's a little bonus tip. Making a digital file of one puppy is great, but how about a bundle? So right now I'm showing you a listing on Etsy where this seller is offering 200 watercolor puppy clip arts, dog PNG bundle. Do these look familiar? So you can see how she's got individual clip arts or PNG files of puppies in different breeds. And she did a bundle of 200 puppies. Now this is a big bundle and she's selling it for $15. And right now it's on sale for $4.50. And it's always a good sign when Essie says in 20 plus carts. So let's use Everby and let's go see how much money she is estimated to be making from this bundle. So if we look here, we can see that she's made 80 sales and this is monthly. And I think it looks at the previous month. So 80 sales with revenue or estimated revenue of $1,200. And this listing age is only one month old. So that is a really good sign. So doing what we did, you can create a bundle of digital stickers that your buyers could use as clip art or using in their digital planners. And according to this research, you can make it money off of this listing. So what I might do is I'm gonna go back to Canva and you see here I've uploaded the rest of the puppies that came from our prompt that we created in ChatGPT. And what I might do is add each one of the puppies onto my canvas. And I kept each one of my puppies a little playful and I made sure that they had the same art style and color style so they would go together. And you can see here how I can easily have a collection of playful puppies. So I might edit this, make it look nice on this background. And I might even add one more puppy. So I have six puppies just, you know, so it's an even number. I would remove the backgrounds from each one of these puppies like I did before. And I could offer a puppy bundle or a playful puppy bundle. So my tip here is instead of creating one type of sticker image, create lots of them, create a bundle, the more the better, and you can have some really good results on Etsy. So there you go. You now know how to create digital stickers. You're ready to open your Etsy shop and start creating your inventory of digital stickers. If you haven't already opened your Etsy shop, then you can watch this video right here that's a step-by-step -step tutorial and it's going to walk you through the entire process. If you don't have the name of your shop, all you have to do is go to ChatGPT, tell it what your shop is about, and it'll help you with your name as well. I have two playlists that are going to help you open your Etsy business and keep your business running and I'll leave links in the descriptions to those playlists so you can check those out. I would recommend saving them. Now don't wait. You have watched this entire video. You made it to the end, which means you're motivated. It's time to get started now.